guy here. Please like and subscribe and share. And thank you so much if you already have. I really, really appreciate it. So today I'm going to address this topic that the Most High Yahuwah has placed on my heart because most people never address it. And most Christians never address it. Most of the uh, new um, spiritual Israelites never, uh, well, they are the actual Israelites, but they do not address this topic, the topic of abortion. And so um, I'm going to address this today. And this has to do with whosoever will. This is not for everyone. This is not for everyone because everyone cannot receive the truth. They think they already have the truth. But if you catch on to Yahuwah's name, you would know that something is wrong with these uh, doctrines that people are teaching. I told you before in some of my videos, it's 400,000 lies in the Bible. But I'm telling you today with the things they took out of it, it's over one million lies in the Bible and manipulation and alterations and deceit. And so with that, I'm going to tell you in all the churches is built on these foundation of lies. And so I'm going to peel back the truth to you that you who the most high creator have put on my heart today. And, uh, pretty much all week to address this. Okay, so abortion is not a sin. What is a sin is that, that the male has been coveting and doing. They desire the sin. They love the sin. Is having intercourse with you before they marry you and dating you and pressuring you into having intercourse with you before they marry you. That's what the sin is. And leaving you with their seed. Now, even if they did make a mistake, then they leave you with their seed. So that is the sin that they don't want you to know. That's the sin. That's all the sin is. Abortion is not the sin. What they're doing is the sin. And most of the males can't handle this, so they're never going to teach it. And they're not going to make it. Don't you worry. They're not going to make it to eternal life. <laughs> you who would not have any um, pure thing in his new Jerusalem, in his kingdom. He will not. They're not going to make it. It's sad <laughs> that they hold on to this. And that's why they love this lying book, the Bible. That's why they can't turn it loose. <laughs> because it have in there what they want. That they place in there themselves. See, these lying people that rewrote the Bible wasn't supposed to touch the Bible. It's an abomination for them to touch the book of the law. <laughs> Only the prophets, the teachers, the priests, the prince, the king were supposed to teach them. And so, this book have in there what they desire. That's why it's not Yahuwah book. Yahuwah despised the Bible. So what's in there that they can pressure you into sex? Nothing wrong with that. That's in the Bible. They could even rape you <laughs> and cause you to become with child. Nothing wrong with that. 
So this is a lie and deceitful book. And so I'm telling you, they're, what they're doing is the sin. See, sin is transgression, the law of Yahuwah. Sin is not tra transgression anybody else's laws. It's, tra it's transgressing the law of the, our creator, Yahuwah. It's not misdoing anybody else's laws. I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that. And so where this law, <laughs> where this law, where, where they are falling down in the law, is first of all, they are not putting Yahuwah first. So they are breaking, these people are breaking the first three commandments in the first place. If they wasn't breaking the first three commandments, three commandments and they wasn't putting you who if they was putting you who are first in their life they wouldn't be pressuring you into a relationship before they get married to you and making you feel that whatever come from that relationship is your fault so that's what the sin is that's the first sin that's the first three sins, and that cut them off right there. <laughs> the next thing is, like, they have stripped. They have stripped out about adultery and fornication. <laughs> so whatever outside of marriage is fornication or adultery. So they have stripped that out to make you think it's only adultery that's bad. So that's what these evil people did. So they're not supposed to have anything outside of marriage is what I'm telling you. So they are the ones that's committing the sin. And they covet their sins. They desire to keep these sins. They don't want to get rid of these sins, but they want to point at you for them getting you pregnant. And most of the time, for them forcing you. You know, I don't tell this story, and I'm not going to tell it today, but I'm going to tell you. I've been attempted rape like two or three times two times like gang <laughs> and I'm saying if anything had came from that it would have been all my fault and never the male and that's the wrong and ideal with Yahuwah and so I'm just telling you and then also these older men preying on these younger ladies so, I'm saying to you, they have stripped out the real sin. They have stripped that out. So, the sin, so they are pointing at you for the sin when they are the one that committed the sin. And then the next sin is, even they do that, they don't correct it. They walk away and leave their seed. Leave you to take care of their seed. For 10 and 15 years for 15 20 years and then if you desire anything from them help they say you're a bad person so I'm still I'm just trying to help you to understand these are the people that's doing the evil and the book they got is giving them that authority but the book is not the truth so if you are feminine, if you are female, or if you are male, I, I want you to know this too. You have to throw away that book and get the true book from Yahuwah. And I don't want you to feel, you know, if you have done this, you need to repent. If you have convinced anybody to have sex with you before marriage, you need to repent. You need to get away from that ideology. 
the ideology is going to carry you to hell. And then if you get into marriage, if you go outside, that's a wrong ideology. That's a, that's a wrong uh, doctrine. And then if you want two or three wives, that's wrong. So this fake book of the law has given these males all over the world this kind of authority. That's why they love this book. <laughs> That's why they buy two or three of them. So they could tell you you're wrong while they keep hold of their own. So I'm saying to you, and if you don't believe me, it's probably too bad because see the wide road is the road that leads to destruction. So you see 99% of the men's doing it. <laughs> And having this attitude, that means it's a bad doctrine. Because a good doctrine of Yahuwah is not going to take hold to most people. Because it's, it's not easy. It's hard. Anyway, these people are the ones that's doing the sin. And they are pointing at you. So I want you to understand, if you need abortion or you want abortion, you're not doing any sin against your who. You're not doing any sin against anyone. You are correcting a evil that someone did to you. It's like going to the hospital. <laughs> or it's like going to get canceling from when you need help. Don't let nobody lie to you to make you think this is sin. And if they say it's a sin, Tell them, no, what you did to me was the sin. No, what you did, like some people are out trying to fight for you to have a baby. <laughs> trying to pressure you for you to have their baby and know they don't want to take care of them. So tell them, no, what you did to me by having me, uh, for us going uh, sleeping together before we were married, that's what the sin is. Because people are fast to point at you. But you point right back at them. And we know, so no, nah, that's what the sin is. Fornication is the sin. <laughs> that's what it is. Fornication is the sin. And anyway, I just want to uplift you. You not you cannot kill anyone before they have the breath of life. <laughs> That's not killing or it's not murder. And so, but if you want to feel that way and if you want to stay down on yourself for that, go ahead. Like I like I'm saying, I'm only talking to the ones that have an ear. And that's for that's for the worldly people. And that's also for the awakening people. I want you to understand this because no one ever addressed this because it's not in their best interest to let you know that they are the real demons. They are the real devils and they are the real sinners. All right. I'm not saying it's the right thing for you to do to fall in their traps. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that the sin is on them. 